decided we're just going to do file new and go ahead and just do that custom Photoshop design. It can be the 72 PPI um, instead of the 300. So just go ahead or if, yeah, or yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. So now let's just go ahead and name it tie dye. Um, make sure that this is set to transparent and press create. Now, a lot of you guys were having problems yesterday when you would start something new that your layers over here would go away. If that ever happens, just come up here to Windows and go to Workspace and make sure that these things are on. So sometimes you just want to do, when in doubt, I always just do Reset Essentials and that might change what that looks like over here, but that will make sure that you have everything that you need. So, to do this, we are just going to be using two tools today. We are going to be using um, the brush tool and the mixer brush tool. So go ahead and just, right now I am just going to start and I'm just going to do a little rainbow color here. Select my color. I'm going to start with red. Oops, I'm on the wrong tool. Got to make sure I'm on my brush tool. Sometimes I still make mistakes. All right, so I'm going to make that brush nice and big by using that left and right black bracket next to the P. And now each time I'm just going to make this a touch smaller. So now I'm going to go to red, or the orange, click the color, press OK. And I'm going to keep adding more colors. So now I have my rainbow colors here. I'm simply going to com come in and use the mixer brush tool. So to remember to get to the mixer brush tool, you are going to right click on the brush tool and go all the way down here to the mixer brush tool. Now as you do this, you might need to change up the settings a little bit. So you might have to click this on and off up here. You might have to play with this a little bit. If this gets, um, if if your brush seems to not be working well, I just always like to do, go ahead and do custom, and you can always change these settings up here. So just play around with what works best for you. So now I'm just going to do a simple tie dye effect, and I like to for my brush. For this one, I like the hardness to be down to 0%. That just gives it a little softer look. So instead of having a hard finish like this, it's going to have more of a fuzzy type of look. So go ahead and just watch as I mix these together. Another really cool trick to get a straight line here, so if I go ahead and I just click down on this purple, just click one time with your mouse, then make sure to let go and hold down shift. If I just go all the way out here and I'm just going to click again, it's going to automatically draw that color out. So that's a really, really cool way that you can get some nice straight colors and do you see how nice those colors mix together. Go ahead and play around with the size of your brush too because you'll see how those, those colors can look a little different. So I'm going to do that same thing. So I'm going to hold down, I'm going to click once on the purple, hold down shift, and I'm going to come all the way out here. I'm just moving my mouse and I'm going to click again. So you can see how that makes it look a little bit different. So I would recommend using a smaller brush for this. Now, if you feel like that middle color is overtaking too much, you can always go in and do that same thing just by pulling out here by these um, colors that are closer out here to the, to the front of this. And this will go ahead and make some of those other reds and oranges stand out just a little bit more. So you might want to do that same thing with those inside colors here. But the closer you put these lines together, the cooler the effect is going to be. Now when you have that all blended together, um, you can go ahead and add a new layer in, drag it down to the bottom, and play around with uh, using the bucket tool to change the background color. So you can see that 
the background color can really make a difference in what your image looks like. So that might be something that you play around with. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let's talk about one more way we can do this. So you can do the same thing. You don't have to just be limited to that circle. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just hiding those layers for now. And I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to do this to the top. Now this time you could also do this same thing by using the shape tool. So if you go here to the shape tool, maybe you want it to be a rectangle or you can come to the custom shape tool and you can pick any of these shapes. So maybe I want this to be kind of a heart shape. So I can start with my colors and make that the size I want it. And I'm going to do the same thing and switch colors. Use the move tool to position it in place. And I'm just going to do one more here. So I'm going to go ahead and press tool, fill. I'm going to change that to yellow. Oops, not quite. I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to drag a new one. This will be yellow, and then I'll change the color. So now let's go ahead and make this one green. All right. So now I'm going to move this in place just by dragging on top. I need to make this a little bit smaller because it's almost the exact same size as that yellow. So I'm going to do Command-T. And here we go. So now you could go ahead and use the, well, before you can do this, if I try to use the mixer brush tool, these are all on different layers. So if I go in here with the mixer brush tool, first it's not going to let me do anything because none of these images are rasterized. So if this comes up, go ahead and press OK. But I'm actually going to hold down, um, I'm going to click here on this top shape and then hold down shift and click all the way to this shape one here. So notice all of these are now highlighted. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to rasterize these layers and then I'm going to merge them together. So now they're all one layer. So now I can go ahead and I can use that mixer brush tool to create some of that same effect. Now the important part for this is that you got to make sure that you are um, going in the shape of this. So I don't want to use my mixer brush tool across like that. Sure that kind of looks cool, but we're going to lose the shape of our heart very, very quickly. So I'll just show you a little bit how this will work and then you guys can get to work.